What's up, guys? Welcome back to Back Road Driver. We're the Mazda Brothers, guys. I built my truck to be the jack of all trades. I even named it the Hammer because it nails everything. I even made it really good at some things. This truck has a Whipple Stage 2 supercharger that's 775 horsepower. Guys, this thing will eat. He's got some pretty awesome tow upgrades too. This truck will do 0 to 60 in under 4 seconds. I've also ran a quarter mile time of 12.1 at 114 miles an hour. As you would expect, this thing tows like a beast and this video is all about towing. We're going to hook up my 6200 pound camper and show you how this thing tows. This isn't our first towing video, we've made several already. We'll put a link to those in the description. I'm going to give you a quick overview of what this setup consists of. To hook up to the trailer, I have an easy lift, weight distribution hitch with a sway control bar. I do want to mention that my chains can't cross because they are a single point attachment right here. A lot of guys ask why you didn't cross your chains. Well, there's not a whole lot to cross here. I will mention that in this video. Uh, for all you sticklers out there. My 21 F-150 has the 5 liter V8 with a 373 rear end and it does have the max towing package. This truck does have the Falcon Sport Tow Haul System. I installed that to get my level and to have an upgraded shock system. It does have some functionality though guys. This system does actually have a knob right here and you can adjust the firmness with three different settings and that's going to stiffen up the rebound and compression on these shocks. That doesn't actually help you carry any more weight. When you do hit potholes and that sort of thing that does help keep that bounce to a minimum now i want to tell you about my secret weapon i have roadmaster active suspension installed on this thing and it is the best upgrade for towing that i've found so far guys roadmaster active suspension attaches behind your leaf spring and then down at your axle and it's got an active spring but in the middle you can adjust that thing to get different tension based off how much you want to have uh, firmness in the rear end. Now this thing does more than help you tow. It doesn't increase the top end and we'll talk about that more in a minute on how much you can tow. But when you tow it's a lot more comfortable because your load is more under control. And it doesn't just go for like hauling. You can also load this bed up and with Roadmaster Active Suspension it's not going to let the bed set down as far. It's going to keep you more level in the rear when you add weight to the back end whether it be something you're hauling or something that you're pulling behind your truck. Now, if you do any towing, you know if you load the rear end down and you let the front lift up, you've got less control on your brakes when you actually go to brake because the front end doesn't have as much weight on it. So what we do when we put those Roadmasters on the back and then we add weight is we actually keep the front down and we actually have more braking power, more stopping power, and you're not putting your truck in a bind. Now these are installed on both sides. So as you go around a curve, this thing actually reduces body roll. We were riding in a stock truck just the other day with none of these upgrades on it and it has a whole lot more body roll than after you put this Roadmaster Active Suspension on. Now Sam is measuring the height above ground level before we put the load on there and then we're going to get this on and show you how much it actually squats. To begin with we're just under 41 and a half inches from the ground to the fender well. Now I do want to mention while Sam hooks this up today's video is sponsored by Roadmaster Active Suspension but guys we don't take sponsorships from companies that we don't 110% believe in and actually use the products ourselves. I'm not going to bore you you guys with hooking up the trailer i'll have this done in just a second literally like a second and just like that we're all hooked up that gum they couldn't even hit that subscribe and like button that fast so what did we actually squat when we hooked up Get on the ground there we are over just over 39 and a half so with a 6200 pound camper hooked up we had a little less than two inches of squat that's great guys now we've got some really big discount codes from roadmaster active suspension i'm gonna give you those in just a second but guys let's watch this thing roll down the road so how does it feel to tow with the whipple supercharger installed on the f-150 guys Man, I have to tell you guys, it is amazing. I mean, we've had the Bronco hooked up on the, the RAS hauler. We've had my camper hooked up now. The amount of power you have to tow with this thing, it's got a lot more torque. I mean, it just pulls the trailer at will, puts it where you want it to be. You don't have to worry about, am I gonna have enough power to pull out here or not? It just hauls RAS. A lot of people step up to an F-250 when they start towing a camper. Guys, I don't want to drive an F-250 around all the time. They're harder to park, it's just too big of a truck, uses even more gas or diesel. A lot of people use diesel. You know, you get that torque for pulling, but man, it's just a pain and a hassle. I wanted an F-150 that could do everything and do it well. When you add a Whipple supercharger to your truck, 
When you add upgraded suspension components like Roadmaster Active Suspension and the Falcon Shocks, instead of just putting on a puck leveling kit, guys, you can have a pretty awesome tow rig. And I mean, this thing fills that gap between an F-150 and an F-250, so you don't have to move up to that bigger truck. Guys, don't tow over your limits. Know what your truck is capable of. I'm not saying that you can go out and tow anything because you started adding stuff to your truck. Know your numbers, know what you're capable of, but all of these things combined gives you a better towing experience, makes you feel comfortable behind the wheel. It's just way more comfortable towing something like this camper or a big load and knowing that everything's gonna be stable and under control, it's just the best of both worlds, guys. Stopping isn't increased by Roadmaster Active Suspension, but it does stop that wheel hop. So when you're coming up to a red light, guys, or coming up to a stop sign, you can put on the brakes and apply pressure and know that you're not gonna to come to a skidding halt because you've got too much weight behind you. It's gonna help control that, guys. Now, if you want a discount on Roadmaster, I've got a link down in the description and I've got a promo code for you. I've actually got two. So if you're watching this and you get your order placed before November 28th, I guess through that whole day at midnight in 2021, then they're gonna give you $100 off if you use BF100. That's Black Friday 100. If you're after that time frame, don't worry about it. You can use Backroad 10, get 10% off. That's still a hefty discount on the Roadmaster Active Suspension. If you haven't already subscribed and you love this type of content, hit that button, guys. Guys, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Peace.